Now we just put in the input value because again, we couldn't get that vertical line to graph. It's not a function. So I know that this point is going to be at x equals 40. So all I need to do is type in x equals 40. And now it tells me that uh, y is equal to 25. Um, oh, I think I'm on the wrong graph. See, this right now I'm on the line y equals 25. So when x equals 40, of course y equals 25. But if I hit up, it'll jump. You can kind of see the point up here to y2 equals negative x plus 150. And it gives me the point 40 comma 110. So this is the point 40 comma 110. Now all I need to do is find the intersection between the horizontal line I graphed and this line. And I can do that simply by going over to second trace, um, intersect, option 5. And I just want to get close to that point. As you can kind of see my cursor, I'm going to jump up to the next line. So I'm going to move my cursor as close as I can to that intersection point just to be safe. And about there, that's good enough. I'm going to hit Enter. And you're going to notice that it jumps down to the second curve. So I'm going to press Enter again. And now it's asking me to guess. So maybe I'll get a little bit closer. Hit Enter. And uh, we've got a little problem. Not sure why that happens. Sometimes if your window is not uh, doesn't include the entire line. So I'm going to go from 0. Oh, that's probably why. Let me set my window out a little bit farther. Um, X max, let's do 150. So that way, I'm just kind of zooming out a little bit. Told me no sign change, which is some um, typical little thing that can happen. So I'm going to do intersect again. Again, I'm going to drag closer to that point. With only two lines, it's not as big of a deal to drag too very close, but you know, it's a good idea. So 125, comma 25. So that means this point right here is 125, comma 25. Now I'm going to go ahead and test all of these points. So I want to see which one produces the biggest objective function value. So here's my profit. Here's my pair. So if my pair is 40, 25, I need to check to see when x is 40, y is 25, to see what my profit's going to be. So I'm going to be doing 225 times 40 plus 200 times 25, and that gives me a profit of $14,000. So I'll come over here and type in $14,000. Um, now I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to hit second enter, but now I'm going to do the point 40. Um, well, it doesn't matter which point we do next. We can do 40, 110. And I'm going to test that. So I keep the input the same. I'm going to type in a 110 here. And that gives me, well, lo and behold, a much bigger profit. So 31,000 sounds a lot better than this one. So maybe that's not the uh, um, number of tickets I should sell to optimize things. And then finally, I'm going to test the last point, which is 125, comma 25. So this one seems pretty tempting because coach tickets earn more. So I'm going to come over here and just type in um, one. 2 and then second, oops, 1, 2, 5. I'm messing this up. 1, 2, 5. And then I'm going to insert a parenthesis here. So insert parenthesis. Oh, I put that in the wrong place. 125 plus 200 times 25. And I'm going to get a profit of, oops, there it is, 33, 1, 25. So this means that my magic numbers are here. I should sell 125 coach tickets, 25 first class tickets in order to maximize the profit for this airline. So notice that in this case, um, we are actually dealing with the minimum possible value of Y. Um, and that's probably because the ticket prices do not yield as big of a profit. So of course, minimize on these, maximize on selling these.